So here's what we got currently. We already have 10% of the thermoses. Seven out of 106 freaking uh, things to go to. Oh, man, she pages. All right. Welcome back, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Um, I see it shining. Oh, freak! Oh, freak! What the... Well, that was an easy, uh, fun. I wasn't ready for the guys behind me. The game shouldn't even gave that one away. Ooh. It's not like I would've ran out of health anyway, fighting him. What the? Let me go heal up real quick. Just be safe. Manuscript page? Looks that way. Oh! I didn't need these, the battery. God! Okay. New light, I can heal up a little bit. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, let's just go ahead. I don't think there's anything up here. Ah! Rocks. Alright, there's another supply track. There's a lot of them in this level. Kind of crazy to think about. Oh, let's keep moving. Stop. <laughs> I like my salads. Don't you like your salads? You know what? Cheese tub! Oh, there's a manuscript page just chilling there. I want every nerd to put it free. Alright. I want to see what they go in here. That makes a lot of sense. Immortality on those who 
those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. The heck did I just watch? Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, I need 
Jeez, he's so fast. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. What on earth just happened? Why are the logs swinging? OSHA. Hey, I see a thermos. Sorry. Check my notes. I see the, I see the gas station. Did I not use? All right, we made it to the gas station. It's a giant deer. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. The same world reasserted itself. Hmm. There's another one. There's another. There's the other thermos. Like sometimes you can see. Things from far away. What's going on? Well, let's keep moving this way. I don't want to go to the gas station yet because that's probably where it ends. It's a little random. I think there's another set of guys here. My well, is probably the other direction. Wait! What? You walked walk right into it. Actually, it makes more sense if it's this way. Yep, there it is.
bad. I need to run back. There's no way I can live much longer if I stay out here. Freak. Play on a harder difficulty, or this would be like almost impossible. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. The Deer Fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Oh no. Do I have to use the TV again? Oh, all right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Alright, let's check my stats. This is basically the end of episode one. We've been one of the signs, two, three, two, two, radio shows, four chess. We are on pace. What's in? Check this. Right ball, sheriff station. How'd you get here? The roads are blocked. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Yeah, do what you gotta do. 